This is also true of a poet. Couldn't care less what you've thought or felt about him or anything, as long as he gets his effect across. It's, it's simply fantastic, the unconsciousness of our Western world with regard to the... a rowboat on the Assiniboine and a sailboat on the Red River, and they were about half a mile apart. Part, part, part. school I could stop off and row my boat for a while on the one river and when I went after school after I finished delivering my papers I could go down to the Red River and sail and I did these things all the time. How old were you then? Elizabethan poetry, and particularly Shakespearean poetry. And my father had done a lot of specialized study of Shakespeare. He was quite a psychologist and an enormous raconteur. My gosh, what a raconteur. He was a, an insurance, he was a, a raconteur. Totally uninterested in business and very, very um, interested in conversation from morning to night. Well, presumably he sold insurance. Insurance salesman. But he was more interested in talking philosophy with people. He was to sell insurance. He was, he was sort of Irish. I think he was Irish extracts and, and a wonderful fellow. He was also a fiddler, a great fiddler in Ontario. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It was one of the blog in the old tradition of that we have his fiddle. Much in the uh, fiddle is a more folk instrument, uh, and it's shaped close to a violin, but a fiddle traditionally comes from the Irish Scots uh, tradition of which Marshall's father uh, came. And so, as you know, Mac Lewin means son of Lewin or son of Luke or whoever, and uh, he was very familiar with the tradition and of course having been to England uh, for his college years, he, he knew the fiddle uh, as a folk instrument, even though it's next of kin to a violin, which is a much more serious instrument. My mother was uh, not, well, she was, she had played, she played the, uh, the uh, organ, yeah. <laughs> but uh, in a modest degree, she read, she had my brother and son, uh, Musically educated as far as we wanted to be. So you're an uh, Just uh, my kids, just to be honest. Uh, my my left hand had something to do with making a uh, poor subject for this project. My brother was a person who just did not vote. You're left handed? I'm left handed. And was taught right handed, I'm sorry, which is not entirely an advantage of me. But my brother uh, is a gifted musician. Whereas it, uh, music didn't come easy. My mother was a very much very gifted uh, actress and uh, performer. Uh, this, uh, uh, Your mother was an eccentric, wasn't she? Uh, no, she uh, not eccentric in the ordinary sense. She was a, a very public figure. But she put on a scene of Shakespeare. I was constantly reciting the ground and tennis and Shakespeare when I was preparing me for the stage all the time. Um, yes, uh, the, she was an allocutionist, again, trained out of Boston by Alice Leone Mitchell from the Emerson School of Eloquence in Boston. Hello. 
and tea and so on. They were part of the big deal. It's a whole bunch of them. My friend died, so what do you want? But I've uh, been in an audience of, uh, oh, I guess a thousand of us. He held me out and hold for it for two to three hours. What it, well, my father had been brought up performing. She said, if you know how to use your voice, you wouldn't be tired of it. Oh, she was a, a big one woman theater, Trans Canada. She gave annual concerts across Canada. <coughs> she was a play director as well, and uh, a great Shakespearean. And, uh, oh, she was. And, uh, but she could put on whole scenes from Shakespeare playing all the parts. It's been quite an extraordinary She image. was a, a professional elocutionist and a uh, and <coughs> Yeah. What was your relationship with her? Oh, well, she, she always took an interest in my studies, and, and uh, was, she, was she, a very, she was a very literary lady. <clears throat> and uh, she used to, you know, give recitations of all the poets you ever heard of. <laughs> Instead of a nice, smooth, melodic line, you have these abrupt interruptions which permit far more involvement. <laughs> 